like a nice night, a little bit of breeze. I still love going out there. I mean, I'll never tire of that. It's beautiful out there. Out there is almost anywhere on the water for photographer Anna Vanderwall. Today, it is the magical late afternoon light on Narragansett Bay that draws him from his home in Jamestown to capture the evening sailboat races. Vanderwall has been photographing all things nautical since a transformative moment more than 40 years ago. I looked through an SLR of a buddy of mine on the boat. This was in 1979, and I looked through it and I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. You can really capture something. And that's sort of got the wheels turning. Those wheels have been turning and churning out some of the most amazing and iconic sailing and marine photographs ever captured. An accomplished sailor himself, Vanderwall raced professionally, including as part of a winning round the world race crew. He says his photography, self-taught, benefits from his sailing expertise and from a natural eye for composition. When I'm shooting, I don't think of that. I sort of look at the whole thing and I'm like, okay, this is where I wanna be and I'll say to the helicopter pilot or the chase boat driver, let's get in closer or further away, let's drop down a bit, longer lens, just to get my particular perspective that I, I wanna get. The results speak for themselves. Unique angles, different perspectives, special places, moments frozen in time. I mean, that just comes from within. I love it when I see it, I'm like, bingo, here we are, this is it. The way he can capture his passion of sailing, it shows in his work. Obviously, it was such a part of his life, and he just nails it. It was his wife, Tenley, who pushed to open a gallery in Newport 20 years ago. Until then, there had been no brick and mortar location to showcase Anna's incredible portfolio. I thought, you know, the public really needs to be able to buy your work. It's beautiful, it's in magazines, it's in uh, you know, brochures, but the public can't buy it and hang it on their wall. I just felt it needed to be seen by the public. Advances in digital and smartphone technology have made photography more ubiquitous and accessible in the past decade. But Vanderwall says photography is still a craft, much more than just point and shoot. People walk into this gallery and say, your colors are so nice and your stuff is so sharp and what's the secret? I said, no, I mean, I have good gear, but you've got to learn. The camera doesn't go out on its own and do it. At my workshops, I always say it's practice, practice practice. And he'll continue going out in the early morning or late afternoon looking for that next great shot. I'll never tire of grabbing a camera and a kit with three lenses and either jumping in my dinghy or taking a walk to the top of the hill in the Caribbean and shooting that vista. It's beautiful. It's rewarding. You're always striving for the perfect picture and for the perfect light and I don't think that'll ever stop that need for, for the perfect picture. Wow, gorgeous. And more than a decade ago, Anna was named to Canon's Explorer of Light program. That's a really important and uh, program, and it's a great honor for him. I mean, it highlights the work of outstanding and influential photographers and image creators, and he also leads seminars for other professional photographers and aspiring photographers as well. Also, the business a bit of a family affair. His wife runs the gallery. Uh, one of his daughters is uh, helping out with social media work, and one of his sons was uh, work driving the boat that night. So awesome. everyone's involved with it. <laughs> they family do great affair. work. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next, hermit crabs who live in glass houses.